What's up guys? Isaac here, represent The Realized Man. Back with another Realized Summary, Notes, or whatever you want to call it. I haven't even got a name for the series yet. Maybe we can come up with some creative names later. But today's book is um, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Now, the title of this book, right, was named because I believe it was Napoleon Hill that said, if you were to eat a frog first thing in the morning, you can go on the rest of your day knowing that you've done the hardest thing first. The rest of the day will be a breeze if you eat that damn frog, man. Now, um, you don't really have to eat the frog. It's more of a metaphor. So, in today's summary, I'll be going through my top 10 notes from this book. There's 21, but I'll go through the 10 best ones in my humble opinion. So, let's jump right into it, guys. All right, first one, plan every day in advance. As people, we tend to forget about what we have to do quite often. If you don't plan your day in advance, it's pretty easy to, you know, procrastinate, to not be focused on what you need to do, to, you know, wander around, maybe watch a little bit of TV, kick back, and whatnot. And that's not what we want to do if we want to be effective. So planning every day the night before helps us stay in line. It's really hard to forget about what you need to do when it's right there in front of your face. And also, there's an added bonus effect to this. When you go to sleep at night, your subconscious mind starts thinking about you know, your tasks for the next day, and it's already on it. It's already trying to break it down, trying to see what you can do to make sure you hit your goals the next day. So plan every day in advance the night before, and that way you will never screw up. So that's the first tip from Brian Tracy's book. Let's move on to the next one. Apply the 80-20 rule to everything. Like, I talk about the 80 20 rule quite a lot. And if you don't know what the 80 20 rule is, it's the Pareto's principle. It's pretty much saying that most of your results are going to come from a little bit of the stuff you do. So, we have 24 hours throughout the day. Obviously, 24 hours is not enough to do every single thing that we have to do. But to guarantee that we're going to get the best results, what we can do is do the most optimal things. Do the things that are going to get the most results. So you need to figure out what exactly it is that's going to get you the most results in what you're trying to accomplish. And you need to do that first. That is going to be your main priority. Everything else, forget about it. If it doesn't give you big results, forget about it. Disregard it. Only focus on the things that hit with a big bang and you will definitely be on your way to doing great stuff. All right, next one. Practice the A, B, C, D, E approach to task, you know, optimization, where A, when you have your checklist, you label A as your main priority task, right? A means it's something that you need to get done straight away. It's the most valuable action item on your list. B is something that, you know, would be nice to get done, but perhaps you can let it slide. C is just like B, but with a little bit more, you know, don't give a fuck. So you need to focus on A and you search your uh, task list in that manner where you have your priorities at A and you go down the list in lower priority tasks, right? So make sure you organize your task list in that way, in that fashion, and you know exactly what you need to do first thing in the morning. So you hit all your A tasks first and everything else takes the back hand, the back seat. So yeah, A, B, C, D, E, priority tasking. All right, the next one is prepare thoroughly before you begin. A lot of errors can be fixed by proper preparation. A lot of people, a lot of the reasons that people mess up in, you know, their um, tasks and goals is because they don't plan ahead. They say that a little bit of planning, about 20 minutes of planning can save you up to two hours or three hours of work because you take the time to make sure you don't do the wrong thing. If you go straight into the task without a plan, there is a good chance that you're going to be doing the wrong thing. You're going to be spinning your wheels and just exhausting your energy. So plan first it really will save you a lot of time and it will increase your clarity so let's go on to the next one leverage your special talents the thing is everybody as everybody is good at certain things you can't be good at everything right if you're trying to make a website and you're not really a techie type of guy the best thing you can do is delegate or outsource your you know task you need to focus on what you're good at what is your mission in life? You need to focus on that. Don't try and learn everything. There's not enough time. Some things you will have to outsource. Some things you will have to, you know, skip out. 
Sometimes you might just need to learn a basic level of understanding of certain things. Perhaps if you are starting a website, you might need to learn the basics of HTML and CSS and whatnot. But you don't need to be a badass programmer. You can get people to do that. Spend a bit of extra money and save your time because your time is valuable. It is probably your biggest asset. So, you know, leverage your talent. Focus on those. Upgrade your key skills. If you're someone who's, you know, public speaking, perhaps you need to practice your public speaking. Perhaps you need to dress a little bit better. Perhaps you need to work on your posture, standing upright when you're talking. Or perhaps your your voice, maybe you should be a bit louder. You need to upgrade your key skills. The things that you are talented at or that you need to accomplish your goals, you need to keep working on them. I like this particular law or, or rule because it is telling you to continuously be upgrading. Never stay static. Always try to one-up your previous self. You got to always be doing better if you want to become great. So always be upgrading, always be getting better. Okay, here's another one for you guys. Slice and dice your task. The biggest brick wall for a lot of people in accomplishing big tasks is they see the thing as one big ass objective. When you're about to do something big, something legendary, you can't just see it as one big ass objective because it's gonna scare you. It's gonna lead you to procrastinate. The easiest way you can, you know, do the things you wanna do is to break it up into manageable bits. I believe someone said that the journey of a th- hundred miles starts with a single step or was a thousand miles. Doesn't matter. You gotta start the first step. You gotta break it up, right? Focus on the small things and they add up over time. If you're constantly focusing on what you can do today, you'll eventually get to where you wanna be. If you're thinking about the whole thing in one go, it's gonna be a bit terrifying. So break it down, see what you can break it down to. Perhaps you wanna write a book, do maybe a page or two a day. And within a year, you're going to have like 600 and something pages. How much effort is that? You're just doing the page a day. It's not too much, is it? But within a year, you have that book done. And there you go. That's a good example of breaking it into small bits. And trust me, you get a lot of things done. Better will be more manageable. Give yourself a sense of urgency. Start right now. Don't worry about the perfect time. There is no perfect time. Everybody is always waiting for the sunny day when the stars align, when you know they lose a bit of weight, when they you know the the workplace changes a bit. There is no perfect time. You got to start now, or you're never gonna start. You need to give yourself a bit of urgency, perhaps a deadline or you know a set day when you need to accomplish a set task, and that's gonna make you grind. You know, maybe have a little competition with your friend, a little fitness challenge. 90 day cut where you're gonna lose some weight and you both have to do a bodybuilding competition or something like that. Anyway, the point is you need to give yourself a bit of urgency so that you actually are motivated for the task, so that you actually put in more work towards it. Without a sense of urgency, you can trick yourself into thinking that you have forever. When really you don't. You're gonna die one day. And if you don't work towards the goals that you wanna achieve right now, you're never gonna work towards them. So you need to get that urgency and you start kicking ass, man. Next one, single handle every task. Research has shown that people cannot actually multitask. All you can do is focus on one task and change. And each time you change between different tasks, you're losing your ability. You're not uh, operating at optimal frequency or alpha wave or whatever the hell the brain works at. So you need to focus on one task at a time. You need to find something and dedicate a certain amount of time into just grinding that through. And that's how you do your most optimal work. The longer you get into it, the more clear your mind gets. If you're always switching between things, you're definitely not having clarity of mind. You always have to adjust, adjust, adjust. So find one thing at any given time and just focus on it. If you're writing, you know, disconnect the internet and write. If you're exercising, get rid of all distractions and exercise. Studying, study. Just focus on one thing at a time and things will be much better for you. Create large chunks of time. You need to set out large chunks of time where you can just, you know, immerse yourself in your work. You need to have a set amount of time throughout the day where you're actually going to do your work. Perhaps maybe you wake up early, 5 a.m., 5 a.m., to 10 a.m. or 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. is go time, baby. You just focus on your stuff and just handle it out, hammer it out. If you don't have a set time, it's really easy to get sloppy. It's really easy to get distracted, to, you know, 
get into a mental fog and not be able to do what you want to do. So if you have a certain amount of time, you can build the habit, build the discipline of just getting things done on a consistent basis. You know that this is the time when I'm working the optimal frequency and I can just get this done. And you'll be able to do that every day, giving you a huge advantage over the competition. So, you know, get big chunks of time. Immerse yourself. Identify key constraints. You know what they say? They say a chain's only as strong as the weakest link. So you need to find out what's stopping you from maximizing your potential. Is it your spelling? Is it your writing skills? Is it your speaking skills? Is it you sleep too much? You need to figure out what's stopping you. You need to work on that. The one thing that if you got better at will improve your results dramatically. You need to get to work on that. Identify your key constraints, get rid of the weak chain, and make yourself hard, man. Like steel. Get out of technological time sink. Now, this is a big one for the modern day. We have all this social media, iPads, iPods, you know, iPhones, Samsung Galaxy. You have all your technology right there. Get rid of it when you're working. Make it your friend. Have apps that help you in your work, that make you more productive, that make you do your work better. Don't have all these random games and all these alerts and all this stuff that's going to distract you. That is going to be your biggest pitfall in this day and age, 2015, 2016, or whenever you're listening to this. If you are in technology sync all the time, how you get anything done? You need to make technology your friend and not your enemy. You shouldn't be getting, you shouldn't be getting stopped by small things like this. So make sure you get that sorted out. Anyway, those are my 10 or was it nine? Doesn't matter. Make sure you guys check out the book. Go buy the book. Eat that frog. Trust me, it's gonna help you be more productive. It's a great book. Really practical. A lot of these books these days aren't that practical, man. So make sure you check that out. Brian Tracy's the man. Peace. I hope you enjoyed that.